Well, good evening. Today is Saturday, December 9th. It is time for me to go to bed because I am exhausted. <laughs> I was going to say it's time for weekly meeting highlights, and that's not until Monday. Oh, Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. Take your time. Take your time. Hello, today is Saturday, December 9th, and we have one birthday today. Today is Carlisa Taylor, K-A-R-L-I-S-A, -S Carlisa. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Carlisa, happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you have a great birthday. You get to celebrate it all by yourself. Nobody else had told me that it was their birthday. <sighs> anyway, um... Today was going to be my day of just sitting home, relaxing, wrapping some gifts, doing my Christmas cards, just sitting in a chair and relaxing the whole day and not doing anything. And I started off the day. <laughs> Real, I, well, I knew it last night. Oh, excuse me. We had a, um, a collab with Edie, Joan, and Kim over the girl on her phone, Joan's Point of Plate and Edie's Adventures, to do a Christmas ornament, and I and I knew it had to be up today. I knew it, and I just I let all the girls know last night it will go up today. I can't promise you what time, but I do promise you that it'll go up. And uh, my my sister Denise said it. Um, you could play like a um, drinking game for every time I said childlike because I said because it was a childlike project. It really was. The only one I watched so far was Kim, and it put mine to shame. Kim did a really good job. I, I'm still going to watch Edie's and um, Jones, and i got to catch up on some videos. But for my nice, relaxing day, it was like, forget it, forget it. So um, anyway, I um, and yes, I do have Nancy noticed, Nancy Campy noticed that I have a little turtle on my desk. It's to remind me. You can do it. So I keep that on my desk to remind me. And I also have a little bracelet that said, Determined. I keep that to remind me too. So anyway, um, I didn't get my Christmas cards done. I, I found them, not the ones that I lost. I still haven't found the ones that I lost. I found, I went and bought some new, I bought two boxes of new ones. So now I've got to find my phone books. The hunt is on because you'd think I'd keep them in the same place. Can I begin to tell you that I am the least organized person? Because I'll put something and I'll think that I'll remember it's there. And then I don't remember it's there. And then I got to look and look and look and look. But I thought, but it's not there. I thought I had a, I thought I had one here. I'll find it tomorrow because I'm determined to get my Christmas cards mailed on Monday. So we went to the dollar store and this is why I think that, this is why, not I think, this is why I know that things happen in life and God has a purpose for us in life, that things are going to fall in place the way they're supposed to fall in place. And it's just, today I had one of those days where, to me, it was God speaking to me, telling me this is the way it has to be done. I just really, I really do believe that. I believe that in my whole heart and soul that, you know, like if you would have went right instead of left, or if you would have went light, left instead of right, or if you would have left at this time instead of that time, I just think that things happen for a reason. That being said, I, um, I was getting ready to go to the Dollar Tree to get the stuff to make my ornament, <laughs> which is not a big deal. Um, and... And I was getting all ready to go, and then Jim said, um, you know what, I think I'll go with you. And so I said, okay. So I waited till he got ready, and then he was all ready, and then Kylie was looking for something to eat for her lunch, and she couldn't find the where Denise had put it, because Denise wasn't home. Denise had, did some shopping. And so I stopped to help Kylie look for her food that she wanted, because I have, like, my freezer in the house, and I have a freezer outside, and then I have the refrigerator freezer. And Denise took over my garage refrigerator in the freezer, and so I thought that it was in there. So I went out to help Kylie to find it, and she couldn't find it. And then it turned out it was in my big freezer, which is not a big deal. I had room for it. So we got all that set. So then we get all into the store, and uh, we're at the dollar store. And, you know, I'm getting my ribbon, and I thought I might as well get some boxes and stuff like that. And uh, I just, um, I thought at the very uh, last minute, I was just getting ready to get in line, and I thought, you know what? I need some wrapping paper. Well, the wrapping paper is up by the register because they moved it. It's, I don't know why they put it there, but it's over there. And so I went over there, and I found my paper, and Jim Jim thinks it's funny because I don't like to get the same kind of paper. I know some people wrap everybody's present in the same, like Merry Christmas and everybody's presents in Merry Christmas. No, I like to have a mirage of every different color. I don't know if it's just something from when I was growing up that we really didn't have wrapping paper. Just like on Christmas was the only time we really had wrapping paper. 
and uh i just i just thought no i want to have different papers for and it's not like i do like sophia gets all this one kind or sebastian gets all no everybody gets everything <laughs> but i make sure they all don't have the same so like if that makes any sense like if they get six packages all six are a different kind of wrapping paper so they don't have two presents wrapped in the same wrapping paper I know it's very anal of me. I know that, but that's just what I do. So I'm getting the paper and I started to go and I heard the cashier tell the lady, um, sometimes the magnetic, magnetic strip doesn't work. You need to slide, you need to try it again. So she says, Oh, okay. So then she went to slide it again and then, and the dollar store was packed. And so she slid the thing through again and it didn't work. And so she he says, Well, try it again. She tried it again and it didn't work. And then he whispered to her, I'm sorry, your card was declined. She looked mortified, and I kind of just glanced over at her, and not to be judgmental on that, but she looked poor. She just really looked poor, and then I looked at all the stuff she had, and it was all kinds of Dollar Tree toys, and just like, just like really a lot, and and it was like four or five bags that he was getting ready to put them in. He was starting to take them out of the bags. And she says, no, I know that I know that I, I probably, the card is probably just bent. Uh, I'll go home and get another card. Can you hold it? And I'll come back with another card. And so then I walked over there and, and I just slipped my card in there. <laughs> and so she said, what are you doing? And I said, no, it's, it's my Christmas present to you. She says, you don't even know how much I spent. And I said, it doesn't matter. I said, I'm just going to do it for you. And so she started to cry. And I thought, and I said, no, don't do that. Don't do that. She says, you are so kind. She says, I just moved in this area and I just find the people in this area to be so friendly and so helpful. And you're just so nice. And, and I just can't help it. And then the lady behind her started to cry. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anybody do that. You must be on a fixed income and yet you still did that. And I said, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. I'm, give me my receipt. I want to get out of here. I just got out. And so she went to hug me. And you know, I must have went. Mm. And so then she went, thank you. I just thought it was so funny the way she patted me on my shoulder. And I said, no, that's okay. She says, I don't know how I'll ever repay you. And so then I just looked at her and I says, the next time you see somebody little, buy them a candy bar. Because I figured that's, you know. And so she says, oh, I so appreciate it. She says, thank you so much. And so then she says, I am, my kids are going to have a really nice Christmas because of you. And I thought, Pff, Pff, you know, so I thought, no, that's okay. But when she came in for that hug, oh, I can only imagine what my face looked like. You know, like if I know I'm going to get a hug, I can prepare for it, but then I, I I look like I'm preparing for it. Like if you're coming in for a hug and I don't know in advance that you're going to hug me, I'm going to go. <laughs> and I'm sure I had that look like, don't touch me. And I, I didn't want her to feel like she thought that, you know, like she had fleas or cooties or, you know, you remember cooties? Jean Palmer had cooties when I went to school. Isn't that terrible? Kids are so mean. But Jean Palmer had cooties. And it was only because she was a poor family and she couldn't afford nice clothes or anything like that. But she was always dirty. She was always filthy. I mean, I don't know. She's, I, I, she probably had a really crappy home life. That's the way she was. But And, and the Jaworskis were poor. You know, wasn't that terrible? Even at my age, I can remember that the Jaworskis were poor. We had to sit at a certain table at lunchtime. And the Jaworskis were the only ones that didn't, that, that Frank, which was the brother that went to, was my age and went in my class. And he'd bring out big thermos. Every, nobody brought a thermos back when I went to school, but he'd bring this big thermos of this milk that was like powdered down. There was no free, there was no free lunches when I, not that I know of. I don't remember of any free lunches, but, uh, his brothers and sisters would line up and he'd go into his bag and it was the same crappy bag that he'd bring every day and he'd open up a bread wrapper. And he'd take out their sandwiches because they weren't even wrapped in wax paper because back then you wrapped your sandwiches in wax paper. And then he'd take an apple out and cut it in half and give each of them a half of an apple. And then he'd pour in their little cups that they had. They had their own little cups and he'd pour them some milk from the thing. It was pathetic. And everybody just said, well, the Jaworskis are poor. Well, they were. <laughs> it's like we were mean. We were just so mean. But I felt good. But to me, it was for the grace of God. Because if I would have just left the house right at that moment when I wanted to leave this morning, I would have never ran into that lady. I would have never been able to help her. So that's just, that's why I say God works in mysterious ways. And he just meant for me to be there today. That He really did. So then I came home and <laughs> I did my ornament. It was, Denise watched me edit the video. I couldn't get her to stop laughing. I said, you know what? If I didn't know that you were laughing with me, I would be getting my feelings hurt. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know I wouldn't. It was it was funny. It really was. I was laughing as I was doing it. I was laughing as I was trying to put the thing together. And it's not really even a craft. It really isn't. Anybody can do it. It's like kindergarten. Kindergartners could have done it. But I, I was determined to get a video up because I said that I would. So then I had planned. I read off all the collabs coming up. And I think it's, I wrote it down. I got it written down. Thursday is our quick dinner idea. I was going to make it on Tuesday and because... Um, Chrissy and I are going on a road trip on Monday. She wants to go visit her sister-in-law that lives on the other side of the state. Not down in the southern part of the western, like going on the way to Chicago, her one friend. So I told her I'd go with her for the day. So um, we're going to go there. So I won't be back Monday till late. And then, so I thought I'm going to make this meal Tuesday for Thursday. Because Wednesday, my brother and I are, and sisters are going for our Christmas sibling dinner. And then I didn't want to, it's got to go up on I got to get a new phone because my storage is full and I got too much stuff on my phone. I got because all my, that shouldn't matter if I got them already uploaded to YouTube, just waiting for a date. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my phone, but I need a new phone. So anyway, and then Friday, we got, I got plans. I have a busy week ahead of me. So most of the day today, I started wrapping gifts. So I got a good portion of my, I like to wrap them as I buy them. But the last two or three days, Jim and I have been shopping, and then I got home, I was too tired, and I didn't wrap, so I've fallen way behind. So I'm trying, and then I got a little notebook, like I keep track, that they all get pretty much the same amount of money spent on them, and the same amount of presents in their piles. Not the adults, but the kids. And then I wanted to do that, and so, um, so right now I'm just going to chillax. But I did go by the post office, and I did get some mail, so we'll see what this is. Part of my busy day, I went to the post office. Didn't get my Christmas cards done, but I'll get them done. There you go. How cute. How pretty. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. May you have a blessed Christmas and a peaceful New Year. Love, Carolyn Sly. Thank you so much for the birthday shout-out. I love singing to people on their birthday. If, it's your, if you're new to my channel... Leave me, uh, I, in my description box, I have um, my ad, my address. Or you can leave it in the comments down below, and I'll put it in my calendar. This one came to my house. Picture of a church. A special Christmas prayer for peace in your world, love in your home, and the spirit of the season in your heart. Love, Sherry and Joe. Well, thank you, Sherry and Joe. It's so nice of you to remember me at Christmas time. So I have to do some fiddling with my phone now to find out what's going on with the storage. So we're not going to have a long video today. I'm so sorry. I'm, you're probably glad. Probably saying, Sandy, thank you. you you've been talking. You talk too much. You worry me to death. So anyway, I think that's going to do it for tonight. Get my pajamas on. Sit back. Relax. And that'll be it. So... Like, oh, you know what I had in my backyard last night? A coyote. P Piper went outside and Denise went to get him and she heard something growling and she couldn't see. And she says, it, it was like, it wasn't a dog. It was like a, it was like an animal, like a really mean, I know a dog is an animal, but you know what I meant, like a wild animal. Because we have coyotes in the neighborhood. And I don't live like in a, I live in a suburb. <laughs> so, but as they're cutting down all the forests and the trees and all that, the little things around here to build yet another housing development the animals have no place to go so they're starting to hit we had a deer walk down the street one day <laughs> a deer a full-sized deer walking dun, 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 walking down the street we are not like in the country i am not in the country but anyway like comment subscribe and share and i will talk to you guys tomorrow happy second day of hanukkah right yeah yesterday was the first day today's second day of hanukkah so happy hanukkah Real quick, I did forget to tell you that today's memory is from S Sebastian, who's driving Jim, da Jim Danny, Jim Danny to the rescue, is driving Danny, his dad, crazy because he's in middle school now. So everything is, hey, bro, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, whatever you say, yeah, <laughs> driving Danny crazy. So it's a quick little memory, but uh, he's cool in it. Just just know that he cool, he cool, he be cool. Okay, Sebastian's going to give us his memory wow. of your best Christmas, your worst Christmas, your best Christmas <laughs> present. Uh, it's a Christmas present, but I know I'm getting this year. 
Oh, maybe oh, you won't maybe be getting you won't it. Be. <laughs> uh, uh, my my aunt is giving me a pocket knife for fishing. Oh. And some more fishing equipment. So we, yeah. So that's your best Christmas memory. Not leaving Santa Claus any cookies. I eat them cookies. Mm -hmm. <laughs>